Hey, this is Drew Baird from Moon Audio, and welcome to an unboxing edition. And today we're going to do uh, an unboxing of the new Matrix Audio Element Series. Now, I've got all three models here. I've got the X, I've got the I, I've got the M. These are all the version 2, so they're designated by X2, M2, and I2. We're going to take a look at opening up the X2. Uh, pretty much everything that comes in the box is almost identical between each box, so I didn't see a reason to open all three at once. That'd be a long unboxing video. We're going to go through uh, each one of the contents, uh, tell you what's coming with it, how the, how the unit works a little bit, and, and so forth. So, without further ado, let's open this thing up. Very well packed as usual. So we've got the, the main box for the unit. Got a smaller box here with the power cord. They're doing that separately now instead of in, in the main box. Voila. They do a fantastic job with all their components and making sure that they're very well protected in shipping. Lots of foam pieces, the, the, the unit's totally encapsulated. So we've got your card that's got your serial number for registering, and you can register on their website, although your invoice with Moon Audio is always gonna take care of you from a, a warranty standpoint. Uh, we've got a card here that gives you a, a free subscription to Rune for a certain amount of time. We've got our quick start guide. Uh, make sure to take a look at the bottom of each one of our product pages. We do some additional guides. We'll also have links to videos on how to set these up. The settings are somewhat uh, the same in terms of the old version and new version. There are some changes to the GUI. We're going to go through that in our review uh, video as well as create most likely some uh, user guides. Matrix Audio is also very good. Uh, they've got a YouTube channel along with Moon Audio's YouTube channel. We put all of the user guides, uh, how-to videos, how to connect to Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. Make sure to check out both of our YouTube pages for lots of great instructions. Ah, new remote. Much better quality, much larger. Looks like they've got a lot more controls on it. One thing to note, so no batteries. It will not ship with batteries. These come via air uh, overseas, and the rules state that they can't have the batteries in here in case of uh, any kind of fires on the planes and so forth. So, so you'll have to install your own batteries. I love these little bags that they put them in. You know, I mean, I tell you what, you know, all the protection you can put in these, the way companies are shipping these days, you can't have enough and I like that they overdo it. So, looks very similar to the old unit, um, but there are some changes. I can definitely tell you that the display is much larger. Uh, now we're doing, instead of the XLR connectors, they've gone with the 4.4 millimeter, which I hope, you know, I hope everybody starts to do that. That's really my favorite plug now. It's very sturdy, robust. Uh, you know, the 3.5 hasn't been too bad. The 2.5 is too flimsy. It's so easy to bend and break. But this is sort of a perfect balance between, you know, halfway between a quarter inch and a 3.5. I think it's a, a great connection point. So we've also got our uh, quarter inch. Uh, we've got our power button here. Um, menu on the back. So now instead of doing Wi-Fi antennas, they've got a built-in antenna. Before they had these dongles that stuck up, stood up. Uh, we've got the two co coax inputs. We've got two Toslink inputs. Oh, look at this now. Analog inputs. The last unit was all digital. There were no analog inputs, so that's really cool to see. Um, now we got balanced and RCA analog outputs. Um, network connection. We've got some trigger controls now, so if you're going to use with external amps and whatnot, you can actually use this unit to power those on if they've got triggers. Um, we've got our I2S squared connection, um, USB, um, lots of similar stuff to before. So this is, this is a great all-in-one piece, does a lot of functionality. Um, uh, I'm going to take a pause for a second so I can get a power cable. We can turn it on just so you can see a little quick a demonstration of what the screen looks like. We're not going to go into a lot of details, but I do want to um, power it on for you so you can have a look. Stay tuned. I'll be back in a second. So by the power and the magic of video, voila, everything is unpacked and all three units are all plugged in and set up and ready to go. So 
The cool thing about these new devices is they have a touch screen uh, where you can swipe back and forth to go through all the settings. So when you first get your unit, that's the first thing you're gonna have to do. Swipe to the right or left to set up some settings. The easiest thing to do is I would recommend taking this close to your router. You're gonna plug it in via wired connection, wired so much easier. Set it to the input of network. Then you're gonna to go to uh, the settings and, and click on the top right hand side to get a QR code. At the same time, you're gonna go into the Matrix Audio app. You're gonna to wanna to add the device. You pick the model number, click on it. It's gonna pop up a QR symbol on the screen. You're gonna scan that QR and it's gonna set it up and connect it to the network and do any kind of firmware updates, etc. Real easy, much easier than before. To get the remote control to work, it's not gonna work as soon as you just start pushing buttons. You have to actually marry it to the device. So you're gonna hold down a couple of buttons. Those buttons are in this uh, quick guide and away you can go. So the Element X is $43.99, the Element M, $30.99, the Element I, $15.80. So great price points, I think, for I'm sure the performance is gonna be stellar. If they've done similar to what they've done with the Sabre Pro 3, the Sabre Pro 3 DAC is inside this uh, Element X2, and they've built around it, obviously, all the streaming and other functions. As you scale down, you know, options become slimmer as you go up to the I, you know, less form and function. But, you know, this, this I has been one of our most popular, great bang for the buck devices to use for desktops. Love it, love it, love it. So we're gonna go into videos down the road and go into uh, reviews for each one of them and user guides and all that stuff. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to come back to YouTube to check for those user guides. We'll get them up as soon as they're available to make your setup process easier. Hope you've enjoyed this open boxing and we'll see you next time.